Hello everyone, it's me Ellie from Xexpress Themes and this is the video tutorial of Xexpress Social Share plugin. Well, it is a free plugin of uh, it is a free WordPress plugin from Xexpress Themes through which you can share your website's content uh, to major social media such as Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, Pinterest, LinkedIn and Dig and such. Well, this is a video tutorial for free uh, WordPress plugin share plugin. So this will include only six social me major social medias, but with pro version you can get up to 15 social medias. So in this video, I'll be showing you how you can configure this plugin into your uh, website and have the option for your website viewers to share your website content to their social media. So well, if I uh, first thing uh, you would like to get all the details about this plugin in our plugin page in xxpressthemes.com you need to go to plugins you need to search for this plugin uh, in name of wordpress social share then you will find this plugin detail page right here where we have included all the details of what this plugin is capable of and if you like how this plugin works then you can download it from here or you can down uh, search it directly from the wordpress backend so let me show you its let me show you its backend and how it is configured so first you need to go log into your wordpress account then if you want to install this plugin you need to go to plugins and click on add new well as you can see i have already installed this plugin so i'm going to show you just the process go to add new then if you have downloaded it then you can upload your plugin from here so but you can also search I'm gonna search Xpress and it will give you social share WordPress plugin Xpress social share you need to click the install button that will appear here as in like this and this plugin will be installed after installing you need to activate this plugin and a tab will appear on the left side of your dashboard as in like this so after you have installed and activated it you need to go to this tab click on it then you will find this whole bunch of configuration options over here with a uh, social network and this all the things so before uh, if you uh, want to know your configuration in a return form then you can also get its documentation as in like this where it, we have included all the process of how this plugin is to be configured you can get the documentation in the plugin detail page just right here above downloads or you can watch this video tutorial and learn from it. So let's uh, let us go to the back end of this plugin. The first thing you need you will see is social network. So as I have already told you, you will get uh, six social media. These and two other options that is you can email the content of your website to, and you can print the page as well. So just uh, check for the social media where you want your website viewers to share uh, the, uh, your website content. So if you want them to share on every, and you want to provide them option for every social media, then you can check all. You can also uh, make them able to email your content and print the content and such. And after doing this, you need to save settings. The other thing that you can do here is you can also change the order of how your buttons for share will appear so after doing that the next tab you will see is share option so this is the options uh, these are the options like you can check any one of them or you can check uh, all the options where you want to show your social media buttons uh, sorry social share buttons if you want to show it in post pages these will appear in single post and single pages if you want to show it in front end archive pages attachment page and everything so i will select only post and pages and then click on save settings now that it is saved let us go to the third option that is display settings from where you can control all the display settings of this share button 
the first option you'll get is oh, where exactly you want your share button to be that is below the content or above the content or both below and above since some of your pages and post content uh, might be large in content and you want your website viewers to see uh, those buttons even in above the content and below so you can choose this option well for now I'm gonna choose below content and then you will find this social icon set like all the five templates five themes to choose from they're beautiful sorry six theme actually to choose from they're beautiful and you can choose any template as you want and uh, have them displayed as such so I'm gonna be choosing this theme one and then saving the settings Now after doing so, that the fourth option you will find is miscellaneous settings. So from here you can do other additional settings in your like specific settings in your sh share button and their settings. Like the first thing is you can disable the plugins front end asset. It simply means if you uh, enable, uh, sorry, if you disable this, then your plugins front end asset or CSS won't show and to just show a line of share on this and that and such I'm gonna show you after I'll test uh, in a page then for now let's keep it no and then you can also put a share text that will appear just above your share button like share it if you like or anything any of such wording and then you can also put your Twitter username I'm gonna put our company's Twitter username. It's for the counter actually. So you can also have your share social share counter enabled. That is, uh, you can show your you can show how many times uh, that content have been shared on social media. So you can do that by clicking on S. And for Twitter, you can uh, show Twitter share count by these two options. So you can choose either this or that. You need to go to the link just right here. Let me show you by clicking on one of them. Okay, if you want to show your Twitter share account using new share account, then it will open in as such. You can put your web uh, right now I'm working on my local host. So you can put your live website URL over here maybe as such and then sign it with your Twitter then it will fetch all it will fetch your Twitter uh, accounts of, of, of our website and show the count there same goes for open share account as well then here you can enable or disable total counter total counter that is the total number of time that content of uh, post or page has been shared on social media like uh, overall count of the share you can enable that as well and here uh, in this option you will find whenever the button is clicked it will open on the same window or in a new window tab or will open as a pop-up window you can select it from here and you can enable the cache the maximum um, default is 24 hours then for email settings as I have already told you uh, your the content of the website can also be sent as an email so here is a uh, basic layout of how the subjects gonna be and how the email body is gonna be you can choose from the available parameters from down here as per your like so after doing all those you need to save settings now let us try by making a sample post our sample page well let me make a sample post for example let's go to add new let me put the title and then I'm gonna get some description as a dummy description well get me from here I'm just simply copying and pasting these things so now you need to publish this page let me publish this page 
Since we have made necessary configuration in the backend of Xpress Social Share, now let us see how this post will show the share buttons. Okay, so this is the post and here it will appear as in like this that is below the content. So we have also enabled the total share counter so it is showing right now zero and if you go to each one of them then you will find each share counter which is currently zero but um, the more your website viewers will share it will show the counter respectively. So this is how social share works. It will, it, is, it will also work with pages as well since you have selected in share option for pages as well so this is how it works uh, apart from these all configurations what you will get is you can also use short codes to show your social uh, share button and their settings as per specifically as per you want like for example here you can get all the details of how you can use this if for example this is the short code you need to use to if to have the to have the share button specifically in some pages and post like repeated repetitively if you want them like for example let me show you by creating a new post like let me add new let me make a post And let me again get some content. Let me paste it here. Now let me get this short code. I'm going to copy this short code and paste it. You can paste it anywhere you want, where you want your social share button to be. Like I'm going to place, I'm placing it here or here and such. And then I'm going to publish this page, sorry, post. Now let us view this post. So this is how it's going to appear like how many times if you want your share button to be on your post content to make your website viewer clear or whatever so you can do that. And the next thing that you can do with short codes is you can choose specific network uh, where uh, whose buttons you want there to be like for example the available network parameters are Facebook Twitter as I have said six a social media so you can use as such like this we give we have provided an example like APPS share you can put this network and you can choose the parameter as in like this so let me just copy this and uh, paste it here like this so let me click on update okay now it's been update now let me refresh the test post page you can you'll see you will only have Facebook Twitter and pay interest so similarly as such you can also sh uh, mm, have this share text like text you want just above your share button like then the short code and the short uh, share text use here is share text and this so you can use let me use this share text text to be shared like let me put share it and let me update it Let me refresh this test post. You'll find a small text here. Uh, share it. It will be like a share text if you want to place above your share button. And the next thing you can do is you can also put counter, total counter specifically. And you can also have your custom share link that is uh, in case if the link provided by short code is not as per you need. So you can do that. And we have provided all the example as such like this and you can work uh, as per your want. You can also have your counter parameters and counter shortcodes. So thoroughly check all these and uh, make your social share work as per you want. 
So this is all about social share and how it is to be configured for each page and post and such. And if you have any confusion, then you can also refer to our documentation in the plugin details as I have shown you earlier. It will be right here. You can click on it and it will show you this page which have everything written in written form with pictures and it'll make you clear. Or you can contact our support team. You will find details in just below on the footer in support at accesspresstheems.com or you can talk to me by this chat chat box and I'll try to help you and if you have anything you can comment down below and I'll try to reply to you as soon as possible so thank you very much for watching this video and I hope this video is helpful to you in any way in configuring Xpress social share so thank you very much take care